What's going on guys, Jordan here and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how I like to make my sponge filters. It's super simple and costs next to nothing so stay tuned. I got some big plans coming up. As you can see in the back, my aquarium's missing. I'm in the middle of rescaping it so I've taken it down, and I'm cleaning it out and then pretty soon I'm going to get the rescape there. Also coming up soon I'm going to be doing a breeding project. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what fish I'm going to be trying to breed but the sponge filters that we're making today is going to be used in that project. So stay tuned guys, this is a super fun project and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. Alright, so before we get started, I'm just going to run through all of the materials we're going to be using in this project. First up, we need a base for our sponge filter. This is a just an old tile. It works perfectly, it's a nice flat base. If you don't have tiles laying around, you can use a flat piece of rock. Uh, we got some plastic uh, standpipes here. Uh, this is actually 3 quarters inch but uh, like a PVC pipes that you can get at any kind of Home Depot or hardware store work perfectly for this. Next up, just some sponges. I don't have any um, nice sponges that you would get at a local fish store or anything like that. So these actually I picked up at the dollar store. Pretty sure these are still gonna work. It's open cell uh, sponges, so it's gonna easily let the water run through it. And uh, they're kind of nice pastel colors, so you'll be able to see when they get really dirty. Next up, just some super glued for gluing everything in place. Now over here, I have this little Tupperware that I like to keep just little bits and pieces for air lining. Uh, for example, you got like valves, check valves, um, splitters, and just some little plugs. And these are actually crucial for this project um, because this is going to be allowing us to connect the air line tubing to our standpipes. Next up, we have the air pump right over here. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I have a drill with a couple drill bits, a uh, candle for heating up a nail for punching it through plastic, and then the pliers for uh, holding the nail for doing that. So that's pretty much all you need, uh, really. Uh, it's super cheap. Um, you can buy most of this stuff at like a dollar store or pretty cheap at a local fish store. And uh, chances are you have most of it laying around already. So let's get into the build, guys. All right, so step one is we're gonna light our candle we got a nice green apple going here, so we're going to get some good vibes going for this project. Okay, for this specific sponge filter, we're going to be doing two uh, standpipes on one tile, and then we're going to be using uh, the sponges cut in half, and those are going to be for each one of the standpipes. This will all start to make sense as we're going along, so just sit back and relax, and let's get started. So, I'm just going to mark roughly on the tile where I want the standpipes. All right, first things first, we're going to work on the lift tubes. Uh, now we're gonna cut these to size. Now this will really depend on like the aquarium you plan on putting these sponge filters in. As the longer the lift tube, generally the more uh, suction you'll get through the sponges. Um, but as a general rule of thumb, around eight inches is pretty good for uh, standard like sponge filter lift tube. It doesn't have to be exact. We're just gonna roughly measure around eight uh, inches. I'll just make a mark here. All right, now I don't have a saw with me today, so I'm just gonna use a pair of uh, nippers and just roughly cut around the eight inches mark. There we go. Just gonna go with a knife and clean up the edges a little bit. And just like that, we have two 8 inch long lift tubes and they're going to be glued on our tile just like that. And we're going to have two mini sponge filters all housed on one tile. So the next step for the sponge filter is we're going to cut a bunch of holes where the sponges are going to be on the lift tube. This will allow the water to flow through the sponges and in through the holes and up the tube. Now there's two methods you can use to get the holes in the lift tube. Uh, like I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to use the drill because that's easiest for me. But if you have a nail and a candle like we lit earlier, uh, you can just heat the nail up and punch it through the plastic. Alright guys, so with a little bit of time, 
we were able to drill some holes in these lift tubes and they're starting to come along pretty nicely. As you can see, there's a little bit of imperfections in here, but that's all right. It's gonna be hidden by the sponges anyways. So we'll just continue. So next up, we're gonna make one more hole in these lift tubes. And this one is for the little plugs that we're gonna insert. This is gonna allow us to attach our airline uh, to the lift tubes. So as you see, the holes I drilled were a little bit too big. But that's fine, we'll use a smaller drill bit and we'll just get right close to the base and we'll drill a little hole in there. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, the little plug fits in nice and snug. And we're also gonna add some super glue later when we put this all together, so it's definitely not going anywhere, so that's definitely good. All right, so now that the lift tubes are pretty much done, we're gonna prepare the sponges for assembly. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the sponges are gonna be cut in half here, and then half of them are gonna be for one lift tube, and then the other half's gonna be for the other. So let's just cut these in half. And there we have it, they may not be the prettiest cuts, but it'll definitely work. So next up, we're gonna have to cut some holes in these sponges so that they can slide over the lift tubes and then we're almost ready for assembly. All right, so I just lightly traced out the outline of the lift tubes and I'm gonna use this X-Acto knife and just carefully cut out a little circle in the sponge. Now the idea is that if you cut out the circle a little bit smaller than the outline of the lift tube, then it'll fit on the tube a little bit more snug and it'll perform better. There we have it. So I'm gonna repeat this for the rest of the sponges and then we'll get to assembling the sponge filter. All right, so I've got all the holes cut into the sponges and we're ready to start assembling. And so just to show you guys how this is gonna work is the sponges are gonna slide over the lift tube like that and we're just gonna stack them one on top of each other, just like that. They fit nice and snug. And this will be one lift tube. We'll do the same for the other uh, once they're glued onto the tiles. And then all we need to do is hook up the air uh, to the plugs that we're gonna add on the bottom, and it should be good. Once this is all assembled, it'll also be super easy to clean. You just slide the sponges off, and then you can clean them out yourself, and then slide them back over, just like that. Okay, so on second thought, I figure that these plugs fit in the holes pretty snug, so I'm not actually gonna super glue them. This will allow me to reuse the plugs uh, for another project down the road. But we're still gonna super glue the sand tubes onto the tile, just like that. All right, so here I'm using the thick gel super glue. I'm using this because it'll work a little bit better than the traditional super glue that's a little bit more runny. It'll allow me to coat the bottom of the tube and hold it against the tile until it sets. All right, and there we have it with a little bit of assembly. You can see that we have some airline tubing matched up with a T over here. And in a moment, I'm gonna bring you guys and give you guys a demonstration of how this works. But just for the meantime, we're gonna attach the sponges onto the lift tubes. Super straightforward. Sponges just slide right down the lift tube, just like that. And there you have it, we got two mini sponge filters attached to one airline hose. And coming up guys, I'm gonna show you this underwater and exactly how it works. All right, and there you have it, the two sponge filters in action. Now you may need to adjust the airflow to each individual uh, lift tube like I have in this demonstration, just simply using one of those valves that hook into the airline tubing. But as long as you can get both air lift tubes with air coming out of them, then you'll know that the sponge filter is working. All right guys, and there you have it. 
two little sponge filters kind of all built into one. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and like I mentioned earlier I've got big plans coming up. This particular sponge filter is going to be used in a breeding project that I have coming up very shortly. So if you want to see that and you want to see some more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.